Hello, welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 1st. It's year two, it's week one in Lent, and it's week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalm 59, Genesis chapter 39, verse 1 to 23, and the canticle from Isaiah chapter 38, verses 10 to 14 and 17 to 20. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Rescue me, God, from my foes. Protect me from those who attack me. Psalm 59. Rescue me, God, from my foes. Protect me from those who attack me. O oh, rescue me from those who do evil, and save me from bloodthirsty enemies. See, they lie in wait for my life. The powerful band together against me. For no offense, no sin of mine, for no guilt of mine, they rush to take their stand. Awake and come to my aid, and see. O oh, God of hosts, you are Israel's God. Rouse yourself and punish the nations. Show no mercy to evil traitors. Each evening they come back like dogs. They howl and roam about the city. They prowl in search of food, and they snarl till they have their fill. See how they gabble open mouth. Their lips are filled with insults. For who, they say, will hear us? But you, O oh God, will laugh them to scorn. You make light of all the nations. O oh, my strength, it is you to whom I turn. For you, O oh God, are my stronghold, the God who shows me love. O oh God, come to my aid, and let me look in triumph on my foes. O oh God, kill them, lest my people be seduced, and rout them by your power, and lay them low. It is you, O oh God, who are our shield, for the sins of their mouths and their lips for the curses and the lies that they speak. Let them be caught in their pride. Destroy them, O God, in your anger. Destroy them till they are no more. Let the world know that you are the ruler over Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and the ends of the earth. Each evening they come, they come and back like dogs. They howl and roam about the city. They prowl in search of food, and they snarl until they have their fill. And as for me, I will sing of your strength, and each morning acclaim your love, for you have been my stronghold, a refuge in the day of my distress. O oh, my strength, it is you to whom I turn, for you, O oh God, are my stronghold, the God who shows me love. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Rescue me, O God, from my foes. Protect me from those who attack me. The lesson is from the book of Genesis, chapter 39, beginning at verse 1. Now Joseph was taken down into Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the captain of the guard, an Egyptian, brought, bought him from the Ishmaelites, who had brought him down there. And Yahweh was with Joseph, and he became a successful man. He was in the house of his Egyptian master. His master saw that Yahweh was with him, and that Yahweh caused all that he did to prosper. So Joseph found favor in his sight and attended him, and he made him overseer of his house and put him in charge of all that he had. From the time that he made him overseer in his house and over all that he had, Yahweh blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. The blessing of Yahweh was on all that he had in house and field, and so he left all that he had in Joseph's charge and with him there he had no concern for anything but the food that he ate. Now Joseph was handsome and good-looking, and after a time his master's wife cast her eyes on Joseph and said, Lie with me. 
But he refused and said to his master's wife, Look, with me here, my master has no concern about anything in the house, and he has put everything that he has in my hand. He is not greater in this house than I am, nor has he kept back anything from me except yourself, because you are his wife. How then could I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And although she spoke to Joseph day after day, he would not consent to lie beside her or to be with her. One day, however, when he went into the house to do his work, and while no one else was in the house, she caught hold of his garment, saying, Lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. When she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and fled outside, she called out to the members of her household and said, See, my husband has brought among us a Hebrew to insult us. He came in to me to lie with me, and I cried out with a loud voice. And when he heard me raise my voice and cry out, he left his garment beside me and fled outside. Then she kept his garment by her until his master came home. And she told him the story, saying, The Hebrew servant whom you have brought among us came in to me to insult me. But as soon as I raised my voice and cried out, he left his garment beside me and fled outside. When his master heard the words that his wife spoke to him, saying, This is the way your servant treated me, he became enraged. And Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. And he remained there in prison. But Yahweh was with Joseph and showed him steadfast mercy. He gave him favor in the sight of the jailer. And the chief jailer committed to Joseph's care all the prisoners who were in the prison. And whatever was done there, he was the one who did it. The chief jailer paid no heed to anything that was in Joseph's care because Yahweh was with him. And whatever he did, Yahweh made it prosper. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving help among all the nations. Let not the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. I said in the noontide of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. A canticle from the prophet Isaiah. I said in the noontide of my days I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I shall not see you, my God, in the land of the living, I shall look upon mortals no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, you have rolled up my life and cut me from the loom. From day to night, you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, you break all my bones. From day to night, you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamor. I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary from looking upward. 
O merciful God, I am oppressed, be my security. Surely it was for my welfare <clears throat> that I had great bitterness, but you have held back my life from the pit of destruction, for you've cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you, death cannot praise you, those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living thank you, as I do this day, and parents make known to their children your faithfulness. You will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments all the days of our lives at your house, O God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I said, in the noontide of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my days. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.